Now, for the next drug of choice, which we'll be looking at is pharmacology is nifedipine. So, pharmacology of nifedipine. Pharmacology of nifedipine. So, looking at nifedipine, you guys see that what nifedipine is actually a calcium channel blocker, all right? So, look at the overview, the mechanism of action, the pharmacokinetics, the clinical uses of these drugs, the safety and side effects of nifedipine okay so for the introduction we said that this drug that's nifedipine right nifedipine is a first generation dihydropyridine calcium channel blocker all right so it's used primarily to manage conditions like what hypertension or angina pectoris okay so any condition that is making the heart beat too fast literally use what nifedipine Okay, so looking at the mechanism of action of this nifedipine, nifedipine, nifedipine works by what? Blocking calcium channels in vascular smooth muscles cells, right? So if it blocks the calcium channels, calcium will not be able to come in and cause contraction, right? So instead of contraction, it will lead to what? Because it is blocking the calcium channels, it will make the vessel to relax. So it will lead to what? Vasodilation, right? So this will reduce what systemic vascular resistance and it will actually lower the blood pressure, right? So it, it inhibits the penetration of what extracellular calcium through the cell membrane and the inflow of calcium ions from the sarcoplasmic reticulum into the cell plasma. And the influx of calcium into this place is necessary for muscle contraction. So if it is inhibiting that process, there will be no muscle contraction, rather, there will be relaxation, okay? So what is the pharmacokinetics for absorption? Nifedipine is well absorbed orally, okay? With peak serum levels reached within one to two hours. Metabolism, it undergoes extensive first pass effect and is metabolized in the liver via cytochrome 3A4, all right? Excretion, the drug is excreted primarily in urine about 60 to 65% as metabolites. And in feces, you have about 25 to 30% of this drug being excreted, okay? Half-life. The elimination half-life is about two to four hours with a terminal half-life of about eight hours, okay? Protein binding. Nifedipine is highly protein bound, okay? With over 95% of the drug bound to plasma proteins, okay? So what is the clinical use of this drug? For, uh, it can be used for hypertension, all right? So it's used to what? Manage mild and moderate essential hypertension. Angina pectoris is effective in treating what? Chronic stable angina and prince metal variant angina, okay? The vasospastic angina is also used to treat vasospastic, vasospastic angina, right? The safety and side effects. The common side effects of this drug include things like hypertension, since it is... Tackling the heart beating too fast it cannot throw you into when the heart is beating too slow, you know. Headache, dizziness, peripheral edema, all right. Contraindication, that's in conditions where you shouldn't use this drug, all right. So if there's advanced aortic stenosis, all right, or if the individual from the history taking that have told you that they have hypersensitivity to nifedipine or any components of nifedipine, you don't use the drug, okay. Precautions. As I given the drug, monitor for potential interactions with other med medications that could be metabolized by what? Cytochrome 3A4, all right? So that's it for the pharmacology of what? Nifedipine.